645 Tuesday morning and as you're rushing to get yourself ready and also the kids ready to go to school, don't forget a slicker mm. or an umbrella. You're going to need them. Mm. And you haven't had to grab those much Rin this yeah, spring. I know. Yeah. It might be the last one too. My, my kid, this is the last day of school for my oh, kids. Oh, right. Nice. Summer starts tomorrow officially. That's exciting. Very exciting. Work. We need to come up with a lot of activities. You're not going to be able to, <laughs> to snooze as much activities as you do. Activities <laughs> or chores around the house. Let's do that, right? You know, Brody's getting old enough. He can yeah, mow the lawn. He right? is, and he should be. He somehow, Ooh. you know, He's not gonna like me snakes anymore. away into yeah. the basement. You're and sounding very, Fortnite very uh, forceful here. Listen well, you know, they get $5 excitable. a week for, uh, for, for Taking care allowance. of the cat. They can okay. take care of some stuff around the house, right. you know. Yeah. Five especially whole this dollars. Summer. That's awesome. Isn't that, you know, inflation yep. these days? I was going to say, it hasn't gone up, though. I think it was five dollars. When I was a kid, ago. we got 30 cents. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I think I got five bucks, too. So, um, yeah, I guess I'm a little bit cheap out there, huh? All right. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Good to see you on this uh, Tuesday morning. We had some pretty good rain last night, and, man, it was just great to see the downpours that came through. Hopefully your town got it, your neighborhood got it, your yard got it, because we desperately need this rain. In Portland and Sanford, there's about a third of an inch. Not much, though, for Bangor or Millinocket yet. Today's the day that you'll get some beneficial drops, and there are some isolated showers moving through the Central Highlands right now, but most of the action that we see at the moment is right along the coastline from the mid coast, including Bath and Wiscasset and Damariscotta, down through the south coast into seacoast New Hampshire. And this is where the rain is the heaviest down along the seacoast and the beaches in uh, New Hampshire there. Also some scattered downpours along the turnpike. So if you're driving south, you may have to slow down a little bit once you get into those. You'll also notice the fog that's out there and it's really dense. Haven't had much dense fog this spring. This is one of those mornings where it may be a factor for your commute. There's the front off to our west. It's super slow moving, so it won't pass until tonight after dark. And that means we're under the gun here with this really muggy air for a shower storm really at any point. Tomorrow, high pressure works back in and it turns beautiful. There's Tropical Storm Bill, which Ryan's been telling us about all morning. It's not going to play a role in our weather, but it will throw some waves at us over the next few days. Low clouds, dense fog this morning, scattered showers, which may include some heavy rain. And that includes the middle of the day, too. Even though we're mostly cloudy, there might be one or two downpours here or there. Slow moving ones. The afternoon, I think it brightens up enough for some breaks of sun. That sun likely destabilizes things. And with the front moving in, that's a trigger. And we'll have a broken line of showers and thunderstorms. Not too concerned about wind or hail with these thunderstorms. So a severe weather threat is minimal. But there may be some torrential rain and might be some localized flooding out of it. Not quite like what we saw on the down east coastline last week, but can't rule out some temporary, you know, parking lot flooding or street flooding, some drainage issues once they pass. We'll clear out later tonight and tomorrow's beautiful, as I mentioned. Highs right around 70 for the state of Maine, no matter where you are. If you're close to the New Hampshire border, you get a couple of more degrees out of it and it's around 75 over in the Granite State. Dry air returns tomorrow along with high pressure. The end of the week is stunning. Wednesday through Friday, mostly sunny skies and pleasantly warm too. 75 to 80 degrees, lower humidity out there as well. Next chance for any showers or storms will be Saturday afternoon with this front right here. Doesn't look like it's gonna play a huge role in our weekend weather, but Saturday evening plans, you might have to look at the radar, might be dodging some of those storms later on. Marine forecast, quiet on the water, just can't see much. Sees three to four feet, light south wind. So here's the seven day forecast, mostly cloudy, a shower storm threat throughout the day and highs in the lower 70s, really muggy. Tomorrow, the humidity drops like a rock. It's going to be beautiful with highs in the 70s, mix of sun and clouds, awesome weather for Thursday and Friday too. And a lot of the weekend looks great. Highs in the upper 70s, close to 80. Father's Day is the pick, I think, right now. There shouldn't be any showers at all or storm threats at all. So that's great for Father's Day and first day of summer is Monday. First full day of summer. It arrives at 1130 at night while everyone's sleeping anyway. So <laughs> it's basically Monday. Monday. You know what? It's, it's Monday. I can't believe it. How time flies. We're already halfway through June. Yeah. It's wild. Amazing. All right. Thanks, thank Doug. you so much, Todd.